back in the studio again. Gonna try to correct some of the little errors here and there. This, there's a bass drum I gotta fix. Bass kick, like in where it comes in. Feedback from John. Only got a few songs left. Yay! drum that was out of place and annoying me. Much better. Massage chair. This is why I come over here. It's the greatest thing in the entire world. We've been mixing for like two hours now. It's only midnight 36. A couple more hours. We've been comparing mixes with a couple other bands, modern mixes, just to oh, refresh your good. ears. Because after you mix for a couple hours, it gets to be very, um, your ears get tired, and you lose the mix. It's kind of what's happening to me, so I'm just taking a break to recharge my ears, get some silence. I've been auto-mixing, making those, uh, the sliders, and kind of move themselves and program all that. And I also have these, uh, effect sends. I have that all moving at different times just to keep the stereo spectrum kind of interesting. Keeps your ears happy when you're listening to it. That's my hope, anyhow. After the solo, and I, I pushed all of the delays and reverbs up just on that one part, so it uh, swirls around a lot. Take a listen to that. Haunted. It's a haunted machine. <laughs> Feels like I'm being shot. <laughs> Why are you pushing so hard against it? I'm not. Look. It just does that. The scales fall into the Hearing on Automix, got a right, got a right instead of read, and that should pop red there. And if they were linked, they both do that. Click Automix. Right. Now I won't do anything unless you click Automix Record. I want one of these, YouTube. Buy me one.
Matt's in his happy place right now. Burn this to a CD to take home and master. That sounds pretty good. Oh, master, yeah.